Well, we've looked rather extensively at the slope-intercept form of a linear equation, which is our y equals mx plus b form. And the reason why we like this form and use it so often is because it's very easy to pull out the slope and the vertical intercept from just looking at the equation. There are, though, other forms for linear equations, and in general we have three forms that we can look at. The first is standard form, in which case our equation is written as ax plus by equals c. For example, we could have 5x plus 2y equals 10. The reason we like standard form is all linear equations can be written in standard form. For example, we could have the linear equation x equals 3, which is simply a vertical line at x equals 3. It's impossible to write x equals 3 in slope-intercept or point-slope form, which is why standard form is useful, because all linear equations can be written in standard form. Well, let's talk a little bit more about slope-intercept form. So we were given the standard form of 5x plus 2y equals 10. Well, we can rewrite this in standard form, or I'm sorry, slope-intercept. So this is standard. by solving for y. Get 2y equals negative 5x plus 10. y equals negative 5 halves x plus 5. So now that our equation is rearranged, we can see that this line actually starts out at the point 0 comma 5, and it goes down 5 units and over 1. I'm sorry, and over 2, because our slope is negative 5 halves. So this is 2, 0. We could go down 5 again and over 2 to be at 4, negative 5. And that is the equation for y equals negative 5 halves x plus 5. We see that we go down 5 and over 2. And again, the reason we like this form is because the slope and the intercept are so easy to find. Well, we have another form, and that's called point-slope form. And point-slope form, as you see above, is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, where m is still the slope, and y, x1, y1 is a point on the line. So in our earlier graph, we had the point 0, 5. We also had the point 2, 0, and the point 4, negative 5. Well, if I only told you that a graph has a slope of negative 5 halves and passes through the point four, negative five, what you can use is point slope form and plug these in to find that y minus negative five, which is y plus five, equals negative five halves times x minus four. And that would be the equation in point slope form. The benefit of this form is we can plug in a slope and a point.